Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we have a problem here that deals with rational exponents and I'll show you some of the major pitfalls to this kind of problem. But first let me show you what I think is the easiest way to solve it. If you've got the quotient of two powers of m, simplify this first before you distribute this exponent right here. That might make things a little bit less complicated. Always simplify before you complicate. So right here we have m to the second over m to the one third. That's gonna be m to the two minus a third. In other words, all I did was subtract these two exponents, right? When we divide two equal bases, we subtract the exponents. And two minus a third is really just five thirds because we have two is six thirds minus one third is five thirds. So we have m to the five thirds power and then that is to the negative one half. Then we just multiply these two exponents. That's going to be five to the <clears throat> m to the negative five over six, which is equivalent to one over m to the five sixth. Or that's the same thing as one over. This is the sixth root of m, and m is being raised to the fifth power, which is choice two right here. Now, what are some common mistakes? Why well, I, I often actually make on this problem? I distribute my exponents here and here. And you can distribute exponents, except it, this one's tricky because you're distributing over division. So let me just show you what I mean. So you have m to the second over m to the one third, and you want to distribute the fraction out here, negative one half, and I just double check to get that right. Okay. So you can't just distribute straight to these exponents as you normally would, let's say in like this situation, if you had m to the second and let's say a to the third, and that was being raised to the fourth power, that would equal m to the eighth, two times four is eight, times a to the twelfth, three times four is twelve. You can distribute an exponent across multiplication. It's not like you can't do it here, you can, it's just you wanna keep track of what's happening because really you have m squared times one over m to the one-third, right? This is the same thing as I have here. And you can just test that m squared times one is m squared, and it's over m to the one-third times one, which is our fraction right here. Now, before I distribute the negative one-half, I would rewrite my inner factors as this. And you can see what happens there. All I did was I brought this one-third up top, so I, I wrote as m to the negative one third, definition of exponents, right? If you have, let's say, a to the negative x, that equals one over a to the x. So I just reverse that process. Uh, some teachers like to say I brought this term up top, so I flipped the sign of the exponent. This helps me realize that, oh, I'm actually, when I distribute this, this fraction exponent, I'm actually distributing a negative one half to the negative one third over here, not a positive one third. It's going to be m to the negative one times m to the one sixth, which is really equal to you add these two exponents, m to the five negative five sixth. All right, negative one, negative six six plus one six is negative five six, and that's exactly what we had before. Um, and you don't have to show all these steps each time. Just realize if you're going to distribute an exponent across a division sign, that any exponent down here in the denominator actually represents a negative value, and that will save you a lot of time. All right, I hope this helped.